In this video, I'm going to be showing you a hamstring muscle length test, sometimes called the hamstrings at 90-90 test. The patient will begin in supine, and the PT will position the test hip and knee both at 90 degrees. So in this case, we're going to be measuring the length of her right hamstring. So I'm going to begin here with the right hip at 90 degrees and the right knee at 90 degrees. Thus, this is called hamstrings at 90-90. The patient's going to begin in the supine position, as you see here, but then the PT is going to position the test hip and knee both at 90 degrees. So we're going to be looking at right hamstring lengths, so I need to get the right hip and the right knee at 90 degrees, thus the name hamstrings at 90-90. Now, I'm going to need to stabilize the distal thigh here to keep the hip at 90 degrees. I'm going to use one of my hands, my left hand, to do that, and with the other hand, I'm going to passively extend the knee as much as it will go, as much as the hamstring will allow. And I'm going to take it to end range, like you see right there. Now, you need to understand what constitutes normal. Normal is not necessarily getting the knee completely straight. It looks to me that she's maybe about five degrees short here. She's not totally at full knee extension, and she doesn't have to be. So normal for this test is a knee angle between full extension and 20 degrees short of full extension. That means a positive test is if the patient is more than 20 degrees short of full extension at the knee, and that suggests hamstring tightness. Let's take a look at what that might look like. So obviously this is not a standard way to measure the knee angle relative to full extension, and even the body landmarks we can't see, they're on the other side. Those would be the right greater trochanter, right lateral epicondyle, and the right lateral malleolus, but I think this gives you the basic idea. So full extension would be, obviously, the thighs vertical here, and the lateral malleolus goes all the way up to zero. That would be full extension. If the lateral malleolus were here, then she would be 10 degrees short of full extension. If the lateral malleolus were here, she'd be 20 degrees short of full extension. And anywhere in this range right here, this is considered normal. Now, obviously, if she only were going to get to here, her lateral malleolus is suggesting she's 35 degrees short of full extension. That would constitute a positive test. Even if her lateral malleolus was here, 25 degrees short of full extension, that would constitute a positive test. But this is actually where she got to. So it looks to me that her lateral malleolus is maybe around 7 or 8 degrees short of full extension, and certainly that's within the normal range. Normal range is between full extension and 20 degrees short. So if she's only 7 or 8 degrees short, that's normal hamstring length. Again, if you have a patient who is more than 20 degrees short of full extension at the knee, that would be suggesting hamstring tightness, and you would of course give a hamstring stretch. Thank you for all your support. Be sure to check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff.